Hi Sag, I hope that you're all doing well. This reading is going to be for you in regard to what will be unfolding over the next five days. We have Death card and we also have Eight of Swords, Ace of Wands. Death card and Eight of Swords is a time where there's some really massive change that's going on within your life and to have ace of wands this feels like something is popping up and saying hey focus on me this is where the growth is this is where the opportunity is but because of going through a time that can feel tumultuous for you and sort of like being in your head because of it or just sort of feeling very focused on that it can feel difficult to look at the Ace of Wands and say, wow, look at that. That can be something progressive. That's something that is about growth within my life. It's like if you're, if we feel overwhelmed with something big that we're going through, it can sometimes feel difficult to look at where we're going next because the thing that's right in front of us is feeling really big. Feeling like it's a lot to wrap our heads around or this change is happening and I'm feeling kind of like I'm having a hard time finding my movement through it. I see this Eight of Swords as feeling kind of stuck, like something is going on and something is changing and I almost feel this like, you can feel like this change is almost happening to you more so. Because with the death it feels like there is a change that's occurring but this eight of swords feels like you're stuck there like you just have to experience this thing that's happening and you don't get to have much of a choice within that so you just have to stay there while this is happening and this just has to be your experience right now so because of that you can know that like this is for the better you can know that you are evolving through this experience you can know that this brings more growth and opportunity your way that this is going to be connected with deeper inspiration or a renewed sense of inspiration that you feel simultaneously when we go through the death card it's the whole like i have to surrender i have to release i have to let go this is a lot psychologically for me to be dealing with and then that also like i don't totally feel like this is my choice it can sometimes be like that like this change is happening like I'm ready for this change spiritually and so even though my ego can be like I wasn't ready for this it's like spiritually you are ready for this and this is why it's happening but it can feel difficult to sort of get your ego on the same page so you can feel like you have your head tucked down a little bit See the notion of like a candle being brought to you. I wonder if this is gonna be a bit of a, like a cognitive thing happening. When it comes to self-awareness, when it comes to your knowledge, your understanding, that's where I'm seeing this expansion and growth be happening. So there is a like growing realization within you. Like something being cracked open. It feels like a seed that's been there that what's contained within the seed has now cracked the seed open and so it's it's emerging now and so this thing has sort of been set in motion it's set in play now that maybe wasn't before it's like this thing that was there but it wasn't activated yet and now i'm seeing this thing excuse me now i'm seeing this thing be activated this is connected with like liberation of some sort but it's not always easy to do this. I feel like um, we can look at these things and say like self-realization can sometimes be glamorized of it's gonna be this thing and stuff starts making sense for you within your life and you become more aware of things and look at how you're evolving. And right now you're on the side of things where it's difficult to go through that. It can feel very challenging to move through that. 
stuff is changing there's stuff that you have to release there are things that are no longer part of your path anymore that you're becoming aware of and so there's that surrendering to sort of the waves that are coming through now and you can know like this is the way that it's got to be but it doesn't always feel like your preference or your choice at least not for your ego anyway which like all of us have an ego we wouldn't really be able to be here like on this plane of consciousness if we didn't so i'm not saying that it's like having an ego is anything um bad or anything like that definitely not um but more so from a place of the things that allow us to feel comfortable but aren't always the best for us like that's being challenged currently when we have scorpio this is how we grow stronger mentally psychologically strength through truth through alignment through awareness through cracking things open and really getting to the center of it and it can also feel very intense to be going through this right now because there can be stuff where you're like i have no other choice than to surrender this than to give this up like this is the way and simultaneously that can feel really difficult because it means like stuff that we've been holding on to that may provide comfort for you within your life a sense of security within your life those things are like you have to hand them over now and it can feel very unsettling when we go through that like we don't have those external things to always lean on especially at a time like this and so even though you can know i'm evolving right now this is me growing this is my me gaining more awareness more stuff coming to light it can also feel like things are sort of being ripped away from you that you've been holding on to. I see some stuff that some stuff that's still being held on to that you may I don't know if this is just the choice hasn't been made or the realization hasn't totally blossomed yet but I am seeing something here where there can be a question of whether or not you're going to keep something around or keep doing something keep participating in something this can be something that's so deeply ingrained that you can even convince yourself that it's supposed to be in your life in the way that it is and that may not totally be the case. And like trying to find the difference between like is this a real fit and is this really supposed to be here or am I equating alignment with attachment and it's not actually the case. Attachment with alignment. but it can kind of be something that you don't totally want to see because then if you see it then you're gonna know a move has to be made and i feel you like slowly coming this way to this sort of destined conclusion To the destined conclusion. I'm seeing that this is going to lead to a cycle closing out um, for you, but it can really be something that you didn't want to, but you can feel like this isn't about what your ego wants here. You can feel like it's about something bigger than that. Some of you, this isn't going to happen now. This is going to be happening later down the line, but I'm getting you becoming more and more aware of this. It's like this is necessary in order for you to keep making progress in the way that you want to, in a way that you feel you must. And you can feel like I have to prioritize following my path. I have to prioritize making progress in this way 
taking the next steps and continuing to go. Otherwise, I'm going to get stuck here and you may not want to be stuck here. It feels like you've been putting in all of this work and so you have to sort of flow with the natural rhythm of things and now it's asking something difficult of you and it can be a moment where you're like, oh, like this too, this is being asked from me as well and it can feel like something that you really don't wanna have to give up here. And for some of you, you're gonna put this off until later. There's nothing wrong with that. It's really what you wanna do. But you, some of you, you're going to come to a point and feel like you can't hold on to this anymore. Whereas now it feels like you still have a choice, but later on you may not. It feels like, if I could describe this energetically, you're on your road right now, you're on your path right now, and you have been told, it's like, you know, before you get into a venue, how there are certain things that you can't carry with you, you're carrying something that you know when you get to the door, you can't have it on you anymore. And so right now, you can, you can close out the cycle, like right now, you can surrender it. Or you can wait until the last minute and do it then. And it's really just about what you want to do. But I'm definitely getting that vibe here where there's something that you're holding on to. Once you get too ready to cross the threshold, you can't carry it with you. And so at some point between now and you, you crossing the threshold, you're going to have to surrender this thing. But it's really your choice at what point you want to do that. Because you don't have to do it until you get ready to cross the threshold. But I'm seeing you not be there yet. And so you can still hold on to this if you want to. If you feel like you just don't want to surrender this yet. Uniting with necessary change within your life. Some of you relationships are involved with this. Focuses on the relationship with yourself as well. Once you surrender what needs to be surrendered, I'm seeing you're going to be get something in exchange and it will be the Ace of Cups. Basically what you surrender, you're going to get back an upgraded version of that. And when I say upgraded, I mean something that is more in alignment with you, with where you are. Because it, it feels like something is not so much in resonance but you can still be having a hard time accepting that with two of swords and eight of cups So you're working out something here that's related to your path. I'm hearing self-discovery. It's something that hasn't been finalized yet. You have multiple doors opening up and it feels like the conclusive decision hasn't been made, like which one you're going to go through. But then once you do, 
And there are a lot of different things that can influence this as well, this choice point for you. Once you do, then you're going to be on your way with things and then it's going to feel clear to you. It feels like getting to that conclusive decision, things move quickly thereafter. It also looks like this is going to be a point in time where you be, I think, more so working on an individual level. I'm seeing Four of Swords and I'm seeing Three of Pentacles, and this can mean that there's going to be sort of more of like a hermit collaboration that happens. So this can be you working more with yourself, you working more with your guides, and there can be taking a step back from other active collaborations, maybe where other energies are involved that aren't center focused on your journey and your sense of purpose. I'm getting confirmation of this. So this means that if your energy is like mixed up with other things and other people, it can be a time where you take a step back because there's going to be a focus. Okay, so what I'm seeing is that, so this, this imagery about you being told that when you get ready to cross the threshold, there's something that you're going to have to surrender. I'm seeing there be a, like, some of you, you don't know what this is yet. Some of you, you probably have an inkling of what this is, but you may not have like totally wrapped your head around it yet. I think more so coming from a place of like not wanting to. Because in an instant, if you were like being totally, completely, absolutely, 100% honest with yourself, I think you would know what it is, but it can be something where you're like, just not that thing, anything but that thing, please. And it's something that it's not, um, not so much in alignment, but it can be something that you still are coming to grips with, sort of the reality of it. This just feels like something that would be a lot for you to be taking in right now. And I'm seeing you're learning about what's going to be happening when you're ready to cross the threshold, but you're not there yet. It's like you're being told about what's going to be happening in the future, like later down the timeline, but you're not at that point yet. And so as I said before, you can surrender the thing now if you know what it is. For those of you that think that you know what it is or like know that you know what it is, you can do it now, but you still have the choice to hold on to it still until you are ready to cross the threshold. So you can still hold on to it. You don't have to get rid of it now. That's what I'm seeing. Um, and for those of you that you're like, I don't even know what you're talking about, you're gonna find out. You will see. But just keep in mind that when you get to that point, know that when you surrender what needs to be surrendered, you will get an Ace of Cups in exchange. So this means that there will be a newfound sense of connection that opens up to you that wasn't there before. Like I'm seeing that something is very much going to be coming together. It's like you have to weather the storm and as soon as it clears out, I'm seeing the Ace of Cups be there and so it'll feel like, okay, this is a this is a fair trade, but when you have to get rid of the initial thing, when you have to surrender it, you can feel like um, because of your attachment that it doesn't feel like that. But once you once that's sort of cracked open, and the exchange happens, you'll look at it and be like, okay, definitely a fair exchange. But from where you're standing right now, you may feel like you're not ready for it still. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, so some of you, you know, some of you I'm seeing you don't really, you can be telling yourself that you don't know anyway, just because it can be something that you're still sort of coming to terms with that. Part of you can feel too like what's what impact is this going to have on you if this be the case.
because you can want things to be energy to be reconciled and also feel too like you have to respect this force that's really ready to activate now that is activating now and there can be just like conflict that's being worked out about what path technically you want to be taking right now i'm seeing you have multiple options having page of wands indicates like to not make this choice out of if you have like five doors that are open in front of you and you get to pick one that you can go through when we have page of wands there it encourages you to go through the door that feels most exciting to you most electric to you most attractive to you the thing that feels like it really draws you and calls you rather than to make a choice out of fear out of stagnancy out of anxiety and so when you get to that door and you make that choice this is the encouragement because that is also going to like tell you the nature of the cycle that you'll be entering if you enter into a cycle that is fear motivated it's going to be those types of themes that will pop up for you but if you go through a door that is excitement motivated it will be a path that feels like there is the exploration of inner fire within that and life force within that and something that feels more passion related for you passion like like interest like knowledge like the thing that makes you want to like get up and live your life the the interest the intrigue the attraction to like being alive and being here within the 3d and then feeling like there is a clarity that you have mentally that at that point that you may not feel you have now and right now i'm seeing it be said like you don't need to rush this process i think right now the best thing that you can do for yourself to undilute the energy and to get like the most purified cognition right now is for you to i mean seeing two of swords and seeing four of swords feels like hermit mode being suggested if there's something that's not totally fully being seen the more you are pulling yourself away from other people's energies and getting into a place where you're purifying your own away from the influence of other energies that are not yours this is what's going to help you really see clearly so that two of swords makes it seem like multiple options and then when you purify the energy with the four of swords which is like calling all your energy back to you and expelling all the energy that's not yours the influence of that you're going to see very clearly what is meant to remain and what is not meant to remain anymore and this is how you're working with yourself you're working with the part of you that can be on the fence you're working with the part of you that still hasn't gotten to the truth sort of collapsing in on itself yet this is the part of you where there's a type of duality but one of the options is not the true option for you and the other one is and this is how you work with that part of yourself there's going to be a i need to quiet the mind i need to center i need to pull back i need to expel energy that is not mine and it will very much reveal to you the way to go and the path for you but there can definitely be big resistance because it looks like something is going to be coming to a close and there can be a lot of mixed feelings even about the potential of that happening and this is you learning about the future and learning about what's going to be happening coming up that's where things are going but for right now there can just be a lot of different stuff that you're feeling a lot of questions that you have a lot of is it this or is it that but the more that this really does feel like a hermit's journey during this part of the cycle for you where the more that you are under your own influence rather than taking on the influence of other energies that are not yours and then trying to like sort of fit that into your own truth you're gonna feel like there is chaos on the path that doesn't need to be there that i think is already sort of there depending on what exactly you're involved with Some of you too this can be hard because you feel like something came together and now that can be you can feel like that's falling apart or that it's closing or like things have been really good and it's been like functioning like this and now something needs to 
feel like this is a moment where only the pieces that really belong together are going to be staying and it will become more and more apparent what doesn't go together like what doesn't naturally group together and that's what part of this is about and what will happen is that this is going to be an exchange that happens this means that once you cross the threshold that is the death card you are going to be handed an ace of cups so that means that the thing that you have to surrender you get an upgraded version of that and that it will be something that you're like yeah this definitely fits it's like you're you're like on the path and there's this there's this piece that you've been trying to like fit into the machine and it doesn't really fit there but you have a sentimental attachment to it and what's going to happen is that that piece gets replaced and as much as that's difficult initially when there's that sort of like getting rid of it or closing out the chapter and allowing that new piece to come in as soon as that new piece fits in you're going to say wow everything is functioning so much better like this is how it was supposed to be running the whole time so it will be one of those moments for you um, where you'll just see that the new piece is the obvious one that is supposed to fit there and that for sentimental reasons, the old piece, that's why there was resistance to surrendering that. Not because it was having things function the way that it needed to, but for sentimental reasons that are based off of attachment and actually go against the harmony And this is too ultimately working with the part of you that is resistant to seeing the truth because of the attachment. With two of swords and three of pentacles, it feels very much like I'm working with the part of me that sometimes doesn't want to see the truth because of what that implies, because of, because of what I'll have to do then. Because you know too when you know something concretely, like when you know something concretely where when there has been this sort of admitting to the truth, that then you're like, okay, no question. Like I see obviously what I have to do here. But when we're like not at that point of admitting it yet, because we don't want to look at it or we don't really want it to be. And this can be an unconscious thing that we do as well. Then there's that I don't have to make the move because I didn't consciously recognize this. And so I don't have that obligation because I still don't know the truth yet. But in that moment where the truth reveals itself to you because you've gone looking for it, then you have to enact that or ignore it. And then it's like it becomes conscious, like I'm consciously ignoring the alignment. So when there's this two of swords, it's kind of like, oh, ignorance is bliss. Like these things aren't functioning as best as they could be. And there is resistance. But if I just keep it like this or I keep putting this off, then I don't have to really address it. And in that moment where the two of swords collapses into the ace of swords, like you know what you have to do then. And there's that obligation to take action. And it can be, again, like taking action in a way where you would really like maybe not prefer to be doing that, your ego anyway. Because then pain and then suffering and then, you know, like all of that stuff. And even though you know, like once you get through it, it's going to be great and fantastic because you know that's the best thing for you. You still have to go through it. And that part of you that's like, I don't want to have to go through that right now is still that resistance there. This has to do with big stuff that you've been working on currently within your life. I'm getting confirmation of this. Also to know that what I'm seeing is that, like I said before, you're becoming aware that there's something, something that you're going to have to surrender if you want to cross the threshold. It's like the security won't let you through until you surrender that thing. But know that you don't have to do it yet. It's going to pop up later. You can do it now, but you don't have to do it now. You can 
You can wait all the way until you get right there where the threshold is there. And also too, once you surrender that thing and you walk through the threshold, when you come out on the other side of the threshold, an upgraded thing is going to be handed to you. So it's like a trade-in that's happening essentially, okay? All right, my friends, we're gonna leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.